In my opinion, the Ryzen 7 7700 is the cheapest Ryzen CPU right now that would make sense to buy. Stay away from the 7600 or the 7600X. This CPU is an 8 core 16 threaded CPU that needs an extra price discount to make it more sense, you know? And let me explain why this might be a better buy for you. And please, if you like the video, press on that like button. If you want to see more of that, kind of subscribe and check out the links in the description. So, yeah, let's talk about the pros first. And my first uh, pro, as I said in the intro, this CPU is is a very good CPU when it comes to the stock cooler that it comes with. So it comes with the raised prism cooler and the temperatures is very good uh, based on the hardware unbox review and other reviews of course. Uh, on Cinebench it was getting around 77 to 80 degrees. And the second thing is that's a 65 watt TDP CPU. So it's a pretty power efficient CPU compared to something like a 13600K. So you're getting around 98 to 99% of the performance of the 13600K without overclocking of course and you're getting a massive massive decrement in the temperatures and the TDP but how about performance compared to the i5 13600k well in the CPU intensive tasks it's kind of trading blows in some cases and in other cases the 13600k is reigning supreme because this is let's face it this is a 20 threaded CPU so it's got more physical cores and it's got more threads you know but when it comes to gaming performance it looks like it's pretty much the same with the Ryzen 7 7700 and with PBO turned off we are getting the same performance but once you turn on PBO which is basically a way of saying that we're overclocking the CPU but without you doing it manually from a AMD, you're getting a performance of a 7900X with an RTX 4090. So this is a very good CPU to pair with the highest end GPUs out there. And why I'm comparing it with the i5-13600K because both CPUs when paired with a DDR5 setup, so 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM, it will cost both around the same money which is 600 to 660 dollars or 650. So this is why we are comparing both CPUs to each other. And when it comes to gaming, as I said, the Ryzen reigns supreme, but when it comes to productivity, the 13600k is the better buy but the biggest thing to look for actually is the 13600k can be better or is better in a lot of the cpu intensive applications but some cpu intensive applications like blender for example the ryzen 7 7700 is, is as the same you know as the previous cpu so yeah it's a pretty much kind of like a boxing match you know but once it comes to the cpu intensive task we are looking at some real uh, performance uplift in the Intel counterpart. So yeah, is this a good CPU? Yeah, it's a good CPU. Would I recommend it over the 13600K? I wouldn't. Actually, it would come down to you. And we are looking at DDR5 setups. Once we go to DDR4, there isn't anything for comparison there. But yeah, here are my two cents and let me know what you think down in the description below. I think the Ryzen 7 7700 is a good CPU. Not the best, but it's far more better than the 7600. So yeah, that's been it. If you like the video, press on that like button. If you want to see more of that, kind of subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.